Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. We all need models who inspire us. Models who inspire us help us to pursue our goal with greater accuracy. Sometimes they're dead and we only read of them. Often they are alive, but they're at a distance and we only watch them from a distance. When I was working my way through school, I was in a machine shop and for those four and a half years, I learned all of the, the, how to run up all the machines of that particular shop. And one of them was a very rapidly uh, moving chuck that handled the steel that it cut. It was called a tracer lathe. And the tracer lathe had a tool that cut into the metal as the metal was spinning and it turned the metal into the shape of this pattern that's at the top of the machine. And as that little finger moves along the pattern, uh, so the tool moves along the steel. And when you get through, the, the product you turn out looks just like the pattern. And that pattern is called a template. A template. Uh, the models uh, we have who inspire us give us our mental templates. We, we love things about certain characters, and uh, we, we, we think of them as the template of our lives, and we work on areas that are like them as we work on our own lives. Interesting illustration. Roger Bannister, uh, you may recall, was the first to break the four-minute mile, and uh, it was said to have been scientifically impossible for the human body to accomplish that before Roger Bannister accomplished it. Interestingly, within one year, over a dozen other runners had broken the four-minute mile because Roger Bannister was the template or the model. Uh, my, my wife would tell you her, one of hers is Granny Hood, uh, her maternal grandmother who lived out her quiet and, I might add, crippled, terribly crippled life in a little home in Tyler, Texas. Cleaned her house, cooked the meals, uh, loved her family, and modeled what uh, great living is all about in spite of the crucible of her life. She was the mental template. And to this day, our kids joke with their mother about, well, what did Granny Hood say about that? Or, you know, Mom, when I make up the bed, I remember how Granny Hood taught me this is the way it's supposed to be done, and on and on it goes, and it rubs off. One of mine was L.O. Lundy, my maternal grandfather, who uh, from scratch built a wonderful insurance business in the little town of El Campo, Texas. And all through my childhood until he finally died as I was a young adult, he was the justice of the peace and uh, was, in fact, the... Uh, the man my dad hired out with and ultimately met uh, one of his daughters, and that combination led to the three children you know today as the Swindoll kids. Uh, L. O. Lundy is one of my models. Uh, Robert E. Lee, Theodore Roosevelt, Richard Sumi, Ray Stedman would all be models who have inspired me. Pause and think of yours. Uh, how valuable it is to have models who inspire us. In the scriptures, Isaac had his father Abraham. Moses had his mother Jochebed. Hebrews 11 is full of templates, models, great lives to pattern our lives after. They inspire us. We all need uh, uh, models who inspire us. Whether in the home, at work, at church, or in our communities, God calls us to be servant leaders who reflect humility and conviction. And by drawing on the power of the Holy Spirit, each one of us can be a model of inspiration to others. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, a reformation in our personal leadership, was copyrighted in 2003 
and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.